Welcome back, everyone. And uh, so now we continue to expand. Um, and uh, we're nearly finishing up. We're, we're, we're getting near the end of, uh, of capturing uh, most of Africa or all of Africa and then being able to convert it to our reformed religion. So every county has to be part of that religion to be able to get the uh, achievement that we're aiming for, which is mother of us all. So currently I am, uh, my wife is with child. And so, okay, I'm going to have to cancel this. Okay, so I have a new son now, a newborn. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have any kind of, uh, you know, uh, important qualities. I will uh, imprison his mother. This, uh, and the reason I'm doing so is because I actually don't want any kind of uh, uh, heiresses. Uh, around, you know, uh, or female, female, uh, you know, contenders that may get uh, the empire crown. So because there's something here with with the succession law that I have is that uh, ultimately some of the mothers or or fathers of my uh, the six uh, of my heirs uh, eventually get um, a claim on the throne and then they become heirs even though they're of a different dynasty so what i'm doing is i'm getting rid of all of them i know it's it's a it's a really terrible tactic but it's uh it's the only way to go about it so it's an act of tyranny but i might as well do it i executed her and i don't need any wives at this moment i mean uh i have all the children i need and i'm gonna keep one and this one is gonna be is gonna be the uh um this one is going to basically be um, uh, the the heir, and then the other ones are going to be around. I'm going to they're going to be sticking around in case I need, uh, you know, this one dies, and then I need to give them back their inheritance because I cannot have more than one son. Otherwise, this kingdom will uh, or empire will splinter. So it's a, it's a it's a very t tough situation to be in. I'm uh, honestly fed up with this guy. Um, let's see what's happening here. They're defending. Alright. So, the Byzantines are still around and they're, they're kind of getting annoying. Uh, if I can push them out, then that would be great. You have, uh, the Mustazharids who are around and they also control large parts of East Africa. So there's still ways to go, right? It's not it's not done. Uh, this game is not done, and there's going to be a lot of effort in, in reuniting Africa. But uh, but I think you know we will make it. It's uh, it's it's just a matter of time. I want to see if this island is is part of the region. Hold on, if uh, the uh, the Canaries are actually part of the re uh, the this uh, whole region, so. The region of Africa, yes, they are, and that makes absolute sense. I just want to make sure because before I commit to any war, so I'm gonna invade them later on. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, so good. My my vassals are expanding for me. Um, this is definitely one of the most challenging runs, I would tell you. Uh, I had a lot of executions going on, and it makes sense. I mean, these executions are. Uh, or not execution, sorry, assassinations. I lost a lot of characters to assassinations, and that's because of the enemies that you pick up after so much expansion, right? People just don't really like you. Let me see if there are any factions against me. I wouldn't be surprised if I get killed sometime soon. So, the guy we're trying to kill right now... We're plotting to kill, which actually he completely found out, and I'm gonna have to abandon this. Uh, this guy, um, who is actually the uh, ruler of Damat, is actually was found in a plot trying to kill me. So um, I, I want to get back at him. Let's hope these guys can get into a civil war, or they can fight with the uh, Byzantines. I'm 
have to hit the books. I think I'm gonna count conquer this whole duchy very soon. They're vastly inferior. Uh, I just want to basically... I'm not gaining any piety right now. Perhaps it would be just wise to go for duchies maybe. We, we will see. We press on. Maybe I can go to war against this guy one more time. He's vastly inferior. I really don't like him because of, uh, I mean, I, I hate him because of uh, what he's been doing to us. I mean, he's been trying to kill me. He's been trying to kill my character. And I'm worried about, you know, constant uh, assassination. So, rally the troops. Who's, again, who's going to war against us? What are they going to war for? Huh. What a joke. Are you serious? Sure. I think it's going to be a really big catastrophic mistake for the AI. But sure. If they feel confident, why not? Oh, maybe I'll attack their city here. This battle is over. I'm gonna step in and destroy them. Let's destroy them right now. Someone wants to seek indulgence. The good thing is, is that we are ahead of faith and our religion allows for uh, seeking indulgence, so you know, I'm getting all this money <laughs> at a at a really low cost, so it's basically for nothing. Um, okay, all right. Let's siege their capital and end them. Oh no! Okay, so they did manage to get a lot of allies here. Oh, wow. Wow. Who knew? Who knew that they, they could be so aggressive? All for this one county, huh? Ooh. Oh, that's because these guys are, are pretty powerful. Wow, so they have 17,000 troops. Holy. I'm lost for words. What I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to um, disband them. What are they what are they fighting for? They're fighting for Malila. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna send my troops and I'm gonna raise them here. Raise these guys. And perhaps they can kind of make a mistake and just attack us here. Though wow, they're uh, we have Cordoba now on our doors. And so Maybe I can kill this guy on the battlefield. He's he's lost an arm. He's completely uh, he's maimed. Okay, so Oh, no way. No way.
Okay, so clearly there's a problem here, and uh, I need to uh, hurry up. My friend has died. Okay, hopefully we can end this war there. And then get ourselves... Okay, we're, we're losing this war here. And, uh... I need to hurry up. They're gonna come attack me very soon, yeah. Okay, maybe... Let's see. Maybe we can get some more mercenaries... On board here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what will happen here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking for... Yeah, we, we lost this. I think I'm going to withdraw. Okay, so we won that war. And what I'm going to do here is... I'm basically going to make a rally point over there. So, right here. And I'm going to rally my troops as soon as possible, obviously. Let's look at our vassals now, the vassal situation. So, let's see. Are you a Hausa? Anyone who's a Hausa will do. I'm going to grant them uh, these territories. And so here... They can have this. And I'm going to go back to the uh, war uh, situation here. And uh, raise all the armies I can. Hopefully uh, we'll be up for it. But uh, gosh, I didn't expect these guys to be so powerful. It's never too late. It's never, it's never the end. Wait, let's see. Am I, are my troops still raised there? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Same with these guys. And so what we will do here is we will raise them here. So we'll have all of them. I'm, I'm going to raise all of them. And they need about 23 months, but we will um, raise as many of them as possible. And so, I'm gonna make sure to crush these guys. I'm not gonna let this. Ha I'm not gonna let this pass so easily. Um, Twenty months till gathering. Who knew you would have? We could have so many enemies. Okay. Kind of want them to make the mistake of attacking me here. Can I see? Hold on. If I hire more mercenaries, I basically hired the whole mercenary world. Hire these guys too. Sure, we'll take anyone we can. And we're gonna put the strongest captain in uh, the bunch. So extend their contract. We're gonna extend all contracts we can. Okay, so. Let's see, we're almost... Okay, so we're ready. Question is... Where are the rest of our troops? Wait, hold on. Right. 
Raise army, so... Okay, so yeah, so we want all of these guys. We want you guys too, yeah, yeah. Basically, we're gonna have to wait the 10 months, but I'm gonna go full force on them. Yes, they're winning, they're obviously currently winning right now, but... Hey, look at that, the Byzantines are now attacking them. They're attacking some of their troops. Oh, those are different troops, never mind. But I'm, I should be able to crush them here. I think this is... Because uh, this is my territory at this point. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Extend their contract. And I'm going to basically go full force very soon. A nice little break. I just want to make sure I don't have... Okay. I don't have any children. Except for one who is, you know, inheriting, so um Okay. Let's go. Come on boys. Stand Extend. Extend. Wow, what an ugly war. Okay, so they're facing attrition now. And, uh, good. Let them come here, yeah. Okay, I think they made a, they realized they made a classic mistake here. Hmm. And now they're in their own wars. Get great. I'm gonna just basically invade their capital. And I'll show them. Never to to, to wage war on me again. This will be probably their their last time ever. So let's uh let's let's go finish them off and capture their capital. Okay. Hopefully I can capture the ruler in the capital. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be able to capture him. I kind of want to execute him. <laughs> you get kind of frustrated in this game when things don't go your way. Oh no, what? How did I... How did I lose this though? I don't get it. How did I get how did they get a hundred percent war score? Okay, sure, fair enough. That's so stupid. That is really stupid. Okay. We were basically winning this. They just basically captured this and Alright, I'll go I'll get back to them. I'll 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 capture it later on. It's okay, it's not the end of the world, but you know, that's a a dumb way to lose a war. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of happy right now that the uh, Cordobids are are getting destroyed, and there's a crusade against them. So go ahead, enjoy. Um, I mean, when when does this truce end? 11:28. I'm gonna go back and take it. I'm just going to walk back in and take it. I, I'm not going to let that happen. Okay. Alright. Let's see what my heir is looking like. Oh, he's good on the marshal. Okay, he's a good, he's a good, he's a good character. Good kid. Look how much prestige we're making though, wow. I'm near becoming a, a religious icon. Maybe I, I'm gonna add an activity soon. I'm gonna go for, uh, I'm gonna hit the Byzantines very soon. 
Or maybe not. Maybe I should go for the Mostazad. It's, I don't know. It's a kind of confusing one. But uh, we will see. Oh, the Abbasids are now attacking them. Huh. What about the Mustazharids? You know what? I kind of... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go try to murder this kid. Maybe they can fragment, right? If they <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I can find somebody better for this. Nafisa Musa. Okay. She's not going to accept. Maybe this guy will take a hundred bucks. Or a hundred ducats, rather. Okay, he won't accept. He will be convinced with a bribe. Actually, let's wait and see. I look forward to this. Okay, one more person, just to make sure that this goes through. Okay. This is gonna be 95%. So I'm, I can assassinate the Abbasid, or not the Mustazharid leader. And then maybe they can fragment and stuff. And then, uh... I'm going to set my eyes on the Byzantine Empire. So let's see what's going to happen to them. They'll lose their alliances though, that's for sure. Farewell, my vassal. Horse vassalage. I'll be able to vassalize people by force. Not sure if I can do that to them. Uh, well, okay. So... Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Holy Kingdom. So I'm going to go on a uh, pilgrimage very soon, but I'm in an activity right now. Okay. Are there any factions against me? No. Okay, so we're getting piety here. Okay, go on a pilgrimage. Or go somewhere expensive. It's time to depart. Divine protection. Kind of like the idea of divine protection. Okay, so I need a little bit more holy. I need more holy. Uh, I need more piety. Um, what happens to them when they partition? Okay, you just get a younger kid too. So the murder scheme gained more progress. Hmm. Okay, so this kid died. Uh, now they don't have any allies, so that's good. Okay, I just need more piety, but unfortunately... character has so much dread. I don't like the Mustadzvarids. They're getting... Mustadzvarids are, are really strong. I just hope they can break apart. The Byzantines are just getting desecrated. Uh, we're not getting enough piety, though. That's the problem. Call oh, us. What? Okay. Both 
Jeez. Now they're fighting against each other. <laughs> cool. Um. You know what? Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can just go sack these guys a little bit more. Raise local raiders, and then we can go in on a sacking spree here of the Byzantines. Will be my pleasure. We continue to, you know, we, we continue to. We're we're basically gonna sack them like we did the last time, and it's gonna go by so well. Look at this; it's just devastating for them. Oh, maybe I can meet these guys in battle somewhere. Where are they going? These guys can at least land some of their troops nearby so I can attack them. Okay. Maybe we can go back to Constantinople. We bring back much gold and much prestige, but uh, nothing in terms of uh, in terms of piety, which is what I need. I badly need right now. Uh Okay, so look at this. Okay, maybe attack these guys here. to seek indulgence okay that war got us all the piety we needed okay good good I don't ever want to become a, a drunkard so I'll avoid that all right so now I have two options I have the option of waging a war on the Byzantines here and gaining the despotate of Tahert, which would be a huge gain and would push them out. And they are these guys are inferior. Or I can attack these guys uh, and start to slowly push them out of, of Africa as well. And look look at what I would be taking here. The Sultanate of Kingdom of the Sami Sultanate. I don't know. I like both ideas, but I think I'm gonna go with the Byzantines, you know, first. Because right now they're not distracted by war. So I will be their distraction. The other guys are distracted by war. So it only kind of makes sense. Right? And then later on, I will uh, I will attack the Byzantines. Or the Abbasids. Or pardon me, the Mustazharids. keep saying the Abbasids because that's who they were before. Until uh, they basically replaced them. So my rival has died not a day too soon. I gained obese. Wait, how old am I? Lose weight. Oh, my guy's 48. My son's 25. He's, he's really... I'm liking him. I have another son who's a fornicator. I like this guy, though. Thrifty clerk, greedy, patient, and content. Good congenital traits, but uh, anyway...
defense and negotiations, flexible truce. Okay, that's where basically we're walking through this war, I, I swear, this is going to be an easy one. Alright. Okay, so these guys are attacking uh, the Amrids and they're gaining back that county that I lost, so good. That's perfect for us. Look at this. Things are looking very good in uh, for our African religion. I'm going to start converting to working on the conversions. Okay, so we begin to split off now. Uh, I want I don't want my troops to face heavy attrition, so I begin to split them off. And uh, sending each, I'm going to send all these contingents to places where they would have enough supply because I don't want to, uh, I don't want them to start dying, right? Um, and so here we are, we're beginning to spread really well. And look at this place here. Um, where are the Byzantine armies? I think they're they're distracted. Yeah, they're they're defending in another war. Someone's attacking Kalikia from the Mustazharids. So uh, let's see what's happening here with the Mustazharids. They're 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 breaking apart. Or no, never mind. The Abbasids are making a uh, a comeback uh, for uh, the Arabian Empire. So um, let them kill each other. Honestly. It could be the last of my concerns, or the least of my concerns. What I want is obviously um, to gain back all of the territory in the African region. And so uh, I will do whatever it takes to get to that. And uh, I really don't worry about... Okay, so we lost the battle. Where? Oh, here. So these guys are now... Should attack them before they they make their way to uh well now they're in the mountains i can attack them here perfect that's a huge loss for them and I, I'm, I'm basically gonna annihilate their troops if i can just i capture their i capture the the byzantine emperor Okay, so it looks like we don't have much left in Africa. This is a, a huge, a huge deal. Very big deal now. Um, obviously, I'm going to start distributing territories in a way that uh, is makes this kind of rule more simple. So, like I said, I like typically to empower... I like to empower my own. Um, I like to empower my own uh, people, people of the same faith and culture. It just makes the game easier. What if I granted this guy a vassal, for example, a Christian vassal here? 
I sent him a gift and I asked him to convert. I think he... Oh wow, he's 47%. It's still low. Um, and so... Things are looking good now here. I only wish for your salvation. Oh, he didn't even convert. But it's okay. Um, let's see. What about this guy? What if I sent him someone, a Greek vassal, and I asked him, perchance, would you be able to convert? And he says, no. Okay, so they're resisting the conversion. I don't know if that has to do with also the Ashuri Creed. Oh, these guys are basically done for. capital right here um seek indulgence or oh, no that's a ransom no oh, i'd like more money so it's funny because we don't even have alliances what if for example i married someone who can give me kingdom of gore there are no powerful alliances around this world and my son isn't even married Kingdom of Pominaria. So we're gonna have an alliance with Pominaria. That's cool. Okay, so we have basically we have an alliance with Pominaria. Look how far away they are. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, they're gonna have to travel the, the 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 world to just come and help us. Okay. And so here we are now finishing another uh, group here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna strike Aquitaine as well why not I mean get them all off the African continent and then I can focus on the east so the east is is basically what we have left right oh so I died under mysterious circumstances my son and heir now takes control and uh let's see who is in power my uncle my cousin my uncle okay so plenty of people from my dynasty that's good died under suspicious circumstances okay, he was probably assassinated um let me see do you have anybody to offer for marriage if i okay what about my sister and you? No, he's he's not interested. My half sister. No, not interested at all. What about my brother? No. So this guy is really not interested. What about myself and her? Oh, she's not interested. None of these people are. What if what if I asked her to convert? What about you? What if I asked you? No. Well, in that case, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go for Marshall Prowess. Uh, we lose levies again. Let's see. No one is satisfied here. And let's see why they hate me. No alliance. Okay, that's powerful. Okay. So, let me see what I can do. Despite. All of that, this guy really, really hates me. There's nothing I can do with this guy. 
What about her? Okay. Listen. I'm gonna send you a gift. You better like it. And I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna give you this. And... What else? I'm gonna ask you to convert. Why don't you take a vassal? One of my vassals here. So... You know what? I'm going to create titles. I have so many duchies I can create. And I'm going to hand these out. And let's see what happens here. So I hand these out. I give her a duchy. Is she going to remain like this? You have a new duchy here. Let's see. High chiefdom of whatever. Bugweer me. Are you going to just still dislike me? I'm going to give you another title. High Chief chiefdom of Tahirt. Okay, good. And now listen, you can convert with me. Convert to my religion and you won't regret it. Okay. Let's be boring. Okay, what does this guy want? He wants the Isai Duchy. We can maybe grant it to him. But at the same time, if he's gonna stay in this faction against me, then honestly, I can't. Okay, so she should be leaving. Okay, she's, she's still in it, but they're too weak to send an ultimatum, and that's, I think, because my levy size is now increasing. Um, what I'm gonna obviously do now is. I'm gonna get married to uh, somebody who's of age, secure a marriage, maybe start having my own children. Okay, alright. Invade kingdom. I must be exalted among men. And, uh, let's call for a hunt. Alright. So far, I think like my last five rulers, all of them have been assassinated. Not a single one has been, uh, has actually been, um, not a single one has not been, uh, assassinated. So it's, I haven't been in, able to really enjoy, uh, this run as much. It's, it's, it's been a scary one actually. Okay. So. How are these guys faring? What about these guys? What if I sent you a gift? Would you be down to... Okay, vassal. Perfect. It will be my pleasure. So, there we go. Now we'll capture these islands. And then I think we should be fine. Maybe I'll sway her. I'll sway her. Try to convince her to uh, to join us. Duchy of Toro. I'm just gonna go away duchies to people who are in factions against me. You know, I'll uh, they'll they'll certainly like me more. Here, take Toro. And uh, see, now I'm giving away duchies and people are, are a little bit more satisfied they're leaving these uh, they're leaving these factions against me and wow we are making a lot of money through indulgences
someone attack Aquitaine? Okay. I think I will do it now. Since, uh... Let's do it. They're pretty much inferior. right now. Okay, so who's Aquitaine at war with? Okay, they're at war with other people, so... I'm no longer overwhelmed with stress. That's a good thing to hear. But I need... Uh, I definitely need to start winning some... some more... or gaining more territory. I need more prestige. I need a lot of things right now. Um, because I, I really want to go to war very soon. So what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to start uh, I'm going to start uh, raiding very soon after this. Get some piety, get some get everything I need and then I'm going to be off in to for more attacks. Okay. Now they're defending against uh, some invaders, so my vassals here are, are, are fighting for on my behalf. Okay. Basically, gonna do what I did in, in previously. Oh, wait, the French are here. We'll teach them not to ever uh, attack again. So that's going to be a pure annihilation. Wow. Their army was basically completely wrecked. And now we're going to attack Aquitaine's capital. And I'll keep the contingent here. Let's see, who's a strong marshal? Who has strong martial skills? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Chancellor, who's a good diplomat. Great. The thing is, because of the marriage system that I have here, I should should get myself a commoner as a wife. Someone who's not a ruler of anything. And put her sum of all skills. Someone who just has excellent skills. Let's see. But a commoner who's not a ruler so that they can actually join my court. And, uh, let's see, maybe her, and then I could probably put her on a, on the council. Can I make her my primary wife? Yeah, make primary spouse. So what happens when I do that? Does that mean that, she, no, you have no available spouse. For some reason, I can't. Anyways, so I'm missing out on that. Doesn't really matter. So we sail off to uh, France or Aquitaine and then we're going to capture their capital. Okay, the French are here again. These guys never give up, huh? Are they strong though? No, they're 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 decent, but they're not anything kind of the Mustazharids are just completely in shambles. Let's murder this kid. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, she's willing to be vassalized. So 
so here we are. We we have uh, we have new vassals now. Uh, so the uh, Canary Islands are completely ours now. Okay. Are the French coming back? That's the question. They're pretty relentless. Look at Aquitaine's army here. Where are they going? Okay, perfect. This is a perfect trap for them. Or for me to trap them. So, uh, there we are. The commander, another army has been completely destroyed. These wars are giving us a lot of devotion, by the way. You see here, a lot of devotion. So I'm close to becoming Paragon of Virtue, and I'm going to use these things again for more uh, Cassius Bellies of King to, to get King Tiered Realms, or Kingdom Tiered Realms. Um, now, we move closer to their capital. But this is where it's going to get really problematic, because they are going to begin facing attrition. My men, that is. Okay. How are these guys faring? They're defending here. And so pretty soon these guys will be part of us. Oh my god. One random county by itself. So... Still, my, my character still doesn't have any children. Okay, maybe one more wife will do. Excellent. Okay. So maybe I will now move to their capital. I'm going to take some... Obviously, I'm going to take some uh, attrition here, but... And I'm already taking attrition down here. But what can I do? Um, I just need to end this war very badly. They are losing uh, percentage by the day. I'm going to split these armies into two. And hopefully here at this rally point they can start getting their their supplies back. And uh, the eastern desert here is about to lose this war to one of our vassals. Perfect. The Pope has called for a crusade against the Abbasids who regained uh, the throne. So I just hope that the Crusaders never attack me. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to avoid the Middle East as much as possible. And stay, stick to Africa. Um, so we're getting close to getting their capital here. Okay. So more money. And we're about to get their capital. Perfect. We just caught it. And we captured it. And... Now we get this land here, and we are going to begin strictly focusing on the east. Uh, Africa is slowly becoming all of ours, so this is the perfect situation to be in. I'm going to call it an end for now. I'm going to be back with more com content in the next segment. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe when you get the chance, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.